My name is Milton Jurado, and I am, uh, they call me Maja. I am from Ecuador, South America, and I'm a Mazapan artist. And um, I've been doing this for, since I was nine years old, when I fall in love with this technique. It was in the celebration of Dia de los Muertos, as we do in Latin America. In my country, they did bread dough and decorated um, babies about babies that they were dead. They put the name and later on we eat them. They were totally ed edible and decorated with food coloring. And uh, after I really enjoyed this holiday every year, I came to the United States in 1972, where I met Sister Karen Bocalero, and she recruited me immediately for the first celebration of Dia de los Muertos in Los Angeles. And I told her about Mazapan, and um, I started showing how do we celebrate Dia de los Muertos in Latin America. I really like this medium because the colors and um, it's very easy to work with. It dries out very inexpensive. And um, I would love to other people to learn because I developed this technique. Um, by myself. Um, in Ecuador, they did a little bit different. And when I was a child in Ecuador in the 1960s, there was a woman who started doing uh, Mazapan, and uh, I started seeing in all the folk art stores around Quito, and uh, I really liked what she was doing. And that was my main inspiration to be doing what I do. She did a form of folk art in bread dough, very decorative, and um, they were basically talking about our own culture. And he, they would do Indians and things related to the Native American culture in Latin America. So I continue with this tradition uh, when I came to Los Angeles, and um, I started doing more uh, things uh, that I was inspired by the Mexican culture, which are skulls. And I started making skulls out of bread dough and, um, and putting it together with other elements to create uh, a form of art that um, talks about love and uh, justice and, and remember our ancestors um, and also the Nati Nati Native American culture that uh, we live in. The process um, that I used to make the bread dough art uh, is basically bread dough. I use um, a regular bread, like Wonders bread. Preservatives it has is better because we have less chances to decompose and uh, usually the pieces that I had made uh, 40, 50 years ago, they're still in perfect condition. I preserve them with salt, which it stops bugs from eating in it. And um, uh, the dough is made with glue, wood glue. There's different types of wood glue that makes it harder and makes it more durable and other ones that are more breakable. The dough is a mixture of glue and um, bread and um, preservative. So then I color it with oil paints and, um, uh, and I kneel until it's very playable. And the fact that I use, and I like bread dough better than other dolls that are out, they sell artificial dolls that dry harder. I don't know exactly the name, but there is a lot of mater new materials that you can do. First is the color is not as bright as the colors that I use. And second, um, it's easier to work with the hands because it does not stick to your fingers and you can do really small details. We're gonna be offering a class and how to make this type of work that I'm really excited to teach you how to make because um, time is flying and I'm getting old and I want people to continue doing this, which is um, a celebration of life. 
we do it through Dia de los Muertos. And uh, it's something that has to continue because uh, we are sending uh, the message of um, the Native American message, which is um, justice, love, and preserve the, the earth. This, uh, the reason why I also do bread dough art is because it is totally decompos decompostable. And uh, we, um, if people don't like it or get tired, it's gonna go right back to earth instead of plastics. So we're gonna have a class in the internet uh, through the website of Elysian Valley Arts Collective. Uh, and it's gonna be offered very soon. And um, I would like people to, uh, to come and learn. The more, the more, the better. The type of work that I do is uh, like uh, this sample here, which is a heart with flowers. The flowers are hibiscus flowers. And uh, I use corn, which is very Native American. Uh, and uh, this is a good example of love towards nature and corn that is being feeding us for thousands of years. Here's another piece, uh, another heart. Um, I usually do this for Mother's Day. Um, um, I use a canna lilies with uh, hibiscus flowers and roses and the flames of the love of the heart. Um, we have different hearts with different compositions, different flowers, which every, all of these I can teach you how to create the flowers and the hearts. The hearts I, are made through a, a cookie cutter. And um, I also use molds like these ones to make the skulls. Uh, there is another mold in here that I created out of plaster. And, um, and then I make uh, faces, masks, and a lot of work. Another piece that I use, this is um, uh, from recycled wood, I make crosses. And um, in this case, this is a symbol of uh, the love of uh, religious icons. Uh, the hearts, after I make them, they are uh, like that. And then they are glued to pieces of wood that is all. that are also recycled wood. And I make them, um, to usable again. The back of these hearts have, uh, I use um, a lid of a soda, so I can recycle that too. And um, this is a black heart with a skull made in a mold with a marijuana leaf. Uh, this is a altar to the sun. Is um, we, got, we have here the corn, this is the moon. This is the designs of the night with the earth and the water. And I want to thanks to the Elysian Valley Arts Collective that gave me the opportunity to make this video and also had given me the opportunity to show at the Frogtown Art Walk for the last uh, seven years. Uh, I've been showing uh, my work because I am an um, artist that produces paintings and sculpture, furniture, um, and I do a lot of different things that I cannot even start counting them uh, because um, maybe we'll show you later on uh, some of uh, samples of my work. And um, uh, through the Frogtown Art Walk, uh, is people is been seeing my work and appreciating me and I've been selling my work and uh, now I consider a very successful artist because I'm finally getting to sell and live off my art and I'm very happy and very thankful for this opportunity. <laughs>